you are to another episode of The Great War, starring Austria. So, we are in a great war. Really, a war that is more cumbersome than an actual great war. Like, it's labeled as a great war, but it isn't really a great war. And I've said this before in some of my other campaigns, but you know when a great war is, and this really isn't. Guatemala! Yes! We will shine light of democracy in Guatemala! Yes! Very much so. It makes me sound evil, but it actually is a good thing. Okay. Um, down here, it seems like the British are starting to siege up my land. I don't like that. Uh, we have basically two armies that we could basically use to go and destroy these guys. No one colonized this. Are you serious? No one... What were you guys doing? What were you guys doing? Seriously. Like, no one colonized that land. I mean, it's pretty useless land, but seriously, no one tried to colonize it? No one even attempted to? Wow. Anyways, for the most part, it seems like the Portuguese could probably handle the African front. I, we're basically in the African theater. We're going to whoop the British. European theater, where the main action is going to be happening, is really where, really where all the main goals of ours are going to happen. We're probably going to beat these guys pretty much to a pulp. With the... Oh my goodness, who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Run, 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 run. Okay, who let those stupid British into our ocean? Okay, who the heck let those stupid British into our ocean? Yeah, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Did I have any troops on that? Um, no, I didn't. Whew. Oh my goodness, that that that's scary. That's scary. Almost saw I lost a lot of troops, which means it would have taken me so long to get back up to that number. Because as you guys know, it takes a long time in this game to do stuff. So, so the British mean business. That's basically, they're basically getting my attention right now. They're like, hey, don't ignore us. We're actually important people here. Oh, and why is France hostile to me? I don't like that. Uh, no, it's just other stuff. What? Huh? How have you guys won like 50% of the battles? Okay, that's BS. That's totally BS. Okay. Okay, seems like for some reason they're winning the battles, which I don't understand, but just to make sure, where is Tongo? Not Tongo like that. Tong. Go. Where is. Okay. I'm asking you specifically, where is Tongo? It's not that hard of a question. G. No. I have to look for this. Tongans, Tonson, 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 Tonson. Tombato? No, that's not what they're asking. Oh! I should, okay, I didn't even think there was going to be a South American front, so I didn't even anticipate this. So, yeah, everyone, there's a South African front. I also forgot to ally myself with these guys. Hey, you guys get to be my allies and you get to help. Yeah, so, yeah, you're going to help the uh, British. You're going to help the Argent. Uh, I mean, not the British. You're going to help the Brazilians uh, fight off the uh, British in South America. I didn't even realize it were there. Uh, in terms of Canada, we're just basically going to crush through Canada. But where is Tongo? Like, now I'm really wondering, where is Tongo? T Tongo right here. Oh, I see. This is where they have it. So, as long as I make sure I win this, win this battle that we're about to have, I should be able to reconquer everything. I should be able to crush these guys even with... Even with, even if they have no gas attack, they still don't have gas attack capabilities. Oh my god, they're going to get destroyed. <laughs> this, this isn't even going to be a battle. Wow. So, yep. Go reconquer back this, and eventually the war score, from just not having a war goal, should be able to counteract whatever cheekiness they're doing right now, which is annoying me. Like, uh, they must be winning most of the sea battles. That must be the region. That must region. Reason... For the reason why they're winning most of this, because they should not be winning this yet. I mean, America now on our side should be able to, at the very least, make it look like we're winning. I mean, America usually wins most of the world wars, so it's only, well, I guess this is, I guess we're actually starting that trend, but hey, you guys, you're being in this war too. You don't really need to be in this war, but I'm calling you in just to make sure that the uh, Brazilians don't do anything stupid, okay? Can you do that, Argentina? Can you make sure the Brazilians don't do anything stupid? Because they have a really nasty habit of destroying all the men in a very short amount of time. So, I need you guys to protect them. 
Canada, again, is going to get destroyed by the United States. I know the only way you can fight against the United States as Canada is you're probably going to have to hold up over here in Alaska, but apparently even then they have a lot of troops. Dang, America. You get, you're scary. So, let's see. In terms of Germany's help, they're probably going to be a minor in this. Uh, but in terms of those big scary uh, fleets that apparently are going around, that kind of bothers me to the point where I actually might have to do something about it. Um, yeah, we might have to actually start making some actual um, things. Uh, weapons of mass destruction. Uh, ships! No, that's... That's not as epic as a word I was thinking of in my, my head, but yeah, we're basically going to make a lot of ships to get this to all work. Hmm. Gosh dang, though. Uh, yeah, France is going to easily clear up anything over there. My men are going to make short work of all of British Africa since they have, like, nothing over here to protect them. Uh, yeah, African theater completely stable. Asian theater, I'm pretty sure I'm getting smoked. Yep, <laughs> knew it. You guys, I'm going to have to disband you because I can't really save you. So, disband them. Uh, over here, we're getting... Wow, 219 units. That's actually a lot. They can't actually get through China, though, because China hates them. So, uh, we're safe there. Um, let's see, though. We have another troop right here. Yeah, everyone go right here. I was trying to make sure that this unit was a little bit more well-balanced. Okay, now it's way more well-balanced. Good. Good. In fact, I may have created too many, so let's actually move it down to here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I created too many. Uh, let's see, do, do you guys need cannons? Yes, this unit also needs cannons, so we can also go send some units, some cannons over there that way. Excellent! Excellent! And the election of Austria is starting! Now, here comes the main question, because we obviously have a way we could probably get all of our troops all the way to our good friends, the... Uh, the uh, Irish, we just need to make sure we don't die from that experience. And from what I've seen so far, it seems like most of our ships keep dying. So, wartime election? Who cares? Uh, so, we have to really be thinking about this. Like, how are we gonna go about this rule? Uh, humiliate, humiliate Canada. <laughs> did you not? Yep. <laughs> I was like, did the United States add this goal? Yep. They added that goal. Good job, United States. You're just exactly how we are in real life. Uh, the issue deserves due consideration. Do I really get... I don't want to make make my... You know what? I am not convinced. <laughs> I don't have that main cap. How many aristocrats do I have? Oh my goodness. Why do I have so many dang aristocrats? They're like the most useless class out of anyone else in this entire game. And I feel that that's mostly what my nobility is made up of. What do you guys do for free time? Uh, coal power, I'm pretty sure that's important too. Alright, let's see. What's the other factory that closed? Academy, I can deal with. Uh, in terms of our taxes though, that's looking pretty bad. Again though, I have enough money to like, outlast almost any crisis. Apparently, I'm probably gonna have to also defend these guys for a little bit because... Uh, all their men's right now are in Africa. So, probably yes. And in mostly due terms, we're defeating all of their soldiers in Africa with really no problem, no... Really? This is actually the easiest invasion I've ever done in Africa. Uh, support the conservatives, because conservatives are conservatives. And that actually might be what we need to do, because, like, we are having... Okay, who needs 10-hour workdays? Sure, get 10-hour workdays. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... They're gonna all be working 8-hour workdays here soon, aren't they? Okay, you guys go crush this army. I'm just destroying the bigger armies. For those of you guys who want it, I'm just destroying the bigger armies while I come up with a plan. So we need to make, if we're going to get our troops back out there, we need to make sure that the seas are completely safe. Because our troops are not, our steam transports are not for anything but transport. So we need to make sure the seas are completely underneath our control for us to do our massive, like, moving plans. Um, Because it's going to be a massive move. Uh, Italy looks like it's falling apart, which I love. <laughs> Take that, Italy. After so many years, I finally get you back. You guys get all on the ships. We're going to transport you guys over here. 
And yeah, it seems like our good vassals of Bulgaria and Spain have this all underneath our control. The Moroccoians are about to give up here very soon, I have a feeling, because uh, we almost have all the land occupied. So they're going to soon give up all the land, which will be nice, which then also gets another threat away. What the heck are you doing here? Okay, I... Are you guys civilized, at least? So it makes this a little bit fun, or... You guys uncivilized. You guys are civilized. Okay, good. You guys at least are going to make this fun for us to fight you guys, but... Seriously, why'd you guys come? I mean, I admire your bravery and your stupidity, but seriously, you guys should not come. What is it with you guys invading Port Portugal anyways? I mean, really, if you guys are going to kill anyone, you should probably try to invade Austria or Germany. Because we're the, probably the biggest threats here. And as I thought, they're probably taking over all this. I'm really insanely hoping they don't have any access to the Ottomans' lands. Because if they do, this might be our downfall. If they actually do have access to the Ottomans' lands, we might be dead. We might be dead in that point. Uh, over here... <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Good job invading that point. Uh, over here in our other theater of war, we're just casually destroying all of the British... Whatever they call this as, an, as a colonialist. Over here, uh, you guys are idiots, and you guys have not destroyed the British. You guys have actually made them group up all together. I, I gave you one job. I gave you one job, Argentina. Did you really mess it up? Oh, you sent all your 62k down there. Lovely. Lovely. I'm probably going to have to go send a force down there now to go save these guys. Uh, I'll go deal with that later, though. America's obviously destroying Canada without much uh, difficulty. And now we're transporting more troops again. Uh, the liberals, the socialists, all right, do not get involved. You know what? If it involves the liberals or the socialists, I don't care about either. Okay. Now we got another army right over here. Let's see. We have three armies. We need to go pick up our other army over there. Like I said, this is going to be a really hard battle. And it seems like we have a lot of... Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys. You guys are forcing a lot onto Canada. Canada, um, it could halfway help if I if I just like piece out some of these guys individually. But wow, we are... They're starting to become really greedy people in terms of what they want from this war. Which I don't mind. I mean, we are basically getting the spoils of war, which I don't mind at all. But still, guys. Wow. Wow. By the way, Two Sicilies, are you in this? Yes, you are. Good. Maybe this will actually motivate you guys to build an army. And it seems like we have some type of Morocco Wean army right over there. I don't like that. Okay, Morocco, you guys are going to accept all of our things we... Yep. Oh, guys, this is, this is going to destroy Morocco. But I don't care. You guys got yourself involved in the wrong... In the wrong war and honestly you guys need to be well destroyed because this this is what happens when you play with the big boys you get hurt so let's go right here just keep sieging up everything gain mafia no let's not gain mafia I don't want an Al Capone in my land let's go right here let's just start sieging let's just go siege up the entire coastline because all this is is just siegeable land and I'm gonna go siege Okay, over here, we can go pick up this army, go pick up this army, go send it over here. And let's see, we are building s some transports that should be able to fight, help fight against the new British. It's going to be a little bit... British are so scary, man. <laughs> I won't deny that. Germany, world ship of the world. Well, good job for you, Germany. Uh, the United States, you almost got this cleaned up. Like, seriously, you almost got this all cleaned up. I'm really relying on you guys just to clean this all up. I'm not really asking anything. One second, guys. Hey, back. And apparently ninjas is electrified. Has the power of the gods now in their hands, I see. Oi. Some, I bet some great philosopher is quoted. I really don't know, but yes. Continuing on. Wow, that's a lot of support limit right there. Makes me kind of jealous that they can support that many men in that province. How can they do that? I must learn the, the Spanish secrets. Hmm. Speaking of secrets, let's see. Are we done with our sieges? Yes, we are. Keep moving down. Keep destroying whatever you have to. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. An actual formidable army. Hmm. This actually makes me kind of excited down there. There's actually something worth fighting. Hmm. Okay, so what this calls for is I'm going to need to be at full strength to do this. <laughs> So let's move our troops back into our own land so they can recover. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay. And by the way, how are we doing? And now that I'm finally finished with the colonization of West Morocco, never expected that no one would ever actually get this province. Seriously, I expected somebody at some point to do that. There's apparently some problems in Two Sicilies. Is it something I have to deal with? Nah. Nationalists, I'm guessing. No Sicilian Red Guards. Ah, communism. So, as far as I can see, we control the entire Mediterranean, basically. With a slight minors. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Did you guys really just try to attack me? Oh gosh, dang, you guys are idiots. <laughs> Uh, I know I said that, that I'd be proud of them trying to attack me, but seriously, I was bluffing. Like, don't you guys know a bluff? Anyways, though, on a serious note, let's go destroy this army with both of these death stacks. There's no way they're going to be able to escape. We're not going to lose that much time by some of them arriving a little later than the others. And there's no way they can reinforce this army, so it's going to die pretty quickly. Yep. As I expected, Portugal is going to put... As I expected with this, Portugal is going to be back inside our sphere pretty quickly. Influence them to be very nice to us. It seems like this is mostly, yeah, this is mostly America stuff. So once Canada pieces out or wants peace, I'll do all that stuff for America because America really wants to destroy uh, them. And I guess we have no Oli Moli of Mother of Pearl. Let's see. 47. Uh. 47 heavies, 87 lights. Oh my goodness, that is like... Wait, am I, am I reading these stats right? Let's see. Okay, wh where's a good where's a good army comparison? That, well, I actually know what the stats are. You guys go back. Okay, let's see. Let's see, is that... No. Okay, you guys get out into the gulf for a second. I need to see this. I need to see if I'm reading these numbers correctly. Because if that's 47 heavies... Yep! 47 heavies, 82 light ships. Shoot. Um, I don't think our four ships right here are going to be enough. Uh, <laughs> Germany, do you have any backup lands? Because... <sighs> we just need a way to invade them. We don't... <clears throat> we don't need anything else. We just need a way to invade them. I mean... Let's see, how are you guys doing over here? Oh gosh, you guys still haven't dealt with this. Okay. Good, you're finally going up, Argentina. Good job. But seriously, you guys are a little bit late. Okay, you guys are going to be able to crush that army. You guys just keep moving down. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to deal with idiots. Because, like, we're, we're going to have to break through the British line. I know this. And there's only one way we're going to get there. And that's through that 132 ship of massacre, basically. Um, because there's nothing else we can do. We already have militaristic access through the Eilish, so it wouldn't... I doubt... I'm pretty sure I could probably beat most of the land forces of the United Kingdom once we get to that point, but it's getting to that point that's really the difficult part. Uh, apparently these guys got access to Russia because Russia doesn't hate them. <laughs> oh, for heaven! You guys are really starting to annoy me. Like, seriously, Spain is mine. You know what? I'm just going to ban the embassy of uh, France. Yeah. We won't see them again anytime soon. Good. Ban the embassy and start increasing relationships. Because that's just BS. They should not be able to do anything in my sphere. So anyways, so once America does whatever it needs to do and conquers what it needs to do, we're basically at a stalemate with the uh, British. Oh, shoot. Hey, you guys, come back here! Okay, we could probably go send these guys actually to go over here, because I don't want them to conquer back the land. But yeah, we're basically at a stalemate with the British, because the British can't actually invade me. I mean, they may... Oh my goodness, where are they getting all these troops from? Huh. 
They're actually sending troops over here. I'm actually genuinely happy. Okay. Uh, generally when I get happy about this war is when the episode ends. Lovely, great. We also got 57 Portuguese over here too. Great, that makes me even more happy. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the second episode of The Great War. Let's see what happens in the third episode of The Great War. Okay, bye!